Yeah, in the time that you've been working against practicing with Jay Huff, uh, what can you say about his development and particularly uh, on the defensive end? How much better does he know the defense and fit in now? Yeah, he's been working really hard the past. Uh, yeah. Rookie. Yep. Um, he's been working really hard the past few, uh, I'd say, months of practice trying to get the d defense down because, I mean, that was the only reason he wasn't playing because he's a great offensive player. Um, he's doing a good job of getting out on ball screens, uh, which he didn't previously do well, but he's got a lot better at that. So I'm really happy for him that he's getting out on the floor. Hey. What's the challenge? <laughs> What's the challenge for you guys when you're leading 25 to 3 after like six minutes? I would say just, you know, we usually do a really good job of just playing it play by play. And um, I think we really wanted to make a point just to let everyone know that we were completely past last game. I think a lot of people acted like, you know, someone died or something, but it was just a game. You win some, you lose some. And um, I think the challenge is just making sure that we, you know, remain humble and have that humility and stay unified and, and, and go back to our pillars play by play. Coach, uh, Kyle, Co Coach Bennett said that uh, your thousandth points will, 999 and thousandth points will be a trivia question because they came on a, uh, Technical foul, <laughs> technical foul, and that it would have been better off if you made a three. Uh, so what? Yeah, I mean, did you, what's your reaction to, to what he said? That I should have hit a three instead of. I think I missed one of my free throws. Um, I don't know. I'm you know I'm just really honored to to have um, reached that that accomplishment. It's um, something that I did um, set a goal for myself coming into to college, and you know it's guys like that are to the left of me. Uh, Jack and, and guys like that that you know really are selfless and try to get me looks and stuff like that So really grateful for them Kyle you mentioned you know kind of bouncing back from Duke Did you I, going into the game? Did you have a good feeling that the team's mind was right or was it not till you, you know You're up 25 5 and you realize okay. We're, we're in a good place. Absolutely I think um, nobody really verbally said it But you could look in everyone's eyes and you could tell that we were really hungry and really ready to play this game Jack, back here. Um, Tony talked a lot after the Duke game about just things you could take from that game defensively. How much do you think you guys were able to apply some of those things that you learned from the Duke game tonight? Yeah, we were definitely stretching the pack on the Duke game. We were getting extended, and guys were getting into the driving lanes. Uh, we had a uh, practice the next day, a short stint of just being in the pack and coming closer together. And I thought we did a good job today, the start of the first half. Uh, towards the end of the first half, we let it slip a little bit. But overall, I think it was a pretty good job of reestablishing the pack. Uh, Kyle, Tony wasn't wearing a tie today. That's all. <laughs> When's the last time he wore a tie? I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep some questions going here, guys. Mike. Kyle, Jay, uh, obviously, has a, as we've discussed, a pretty nice offensive game. He can shoot the three. Uh, he got... Uh, Bolden, I think, up in the air the other day and had that dunk. Right. Obviously, one handed dunk. And uh, he's nice, uh, I guess, back to the basket. He can catch and reverse pivots, got a little jumper. Are there parts of his game offensively, even though he has that reputation uh, for having that, that surprise you at all or something that he's developed while he's been here? Um, it surprised me when he first got here, but this is stuff that we see every day. He does a lot of miraculous things on the offensive end every day in practice. Uh, makes a lot of tough shots, um, especially on this guy. Um, but, the, you know, <laughs> he, he's a great player and he's a very selfless player. And, you know, the defensive end is where he struggled and now he's starting to pick that up. So it's, it's good for us. He's an amiable enough guy, but he also seems pretty reserved. Is there something that gets under his skin that you guys can kind of poke at um, him about at all? <laughs> you got anything? No idea, Jeff. No, no idea. <laughs> Kyle, uh, whoa. I don't know exactly how many different lineups Coach Bennett used tonight, but it seems like with, with Jay in the rotation, you can go big, you can go small, you can go in between. Does it feel any different in that regard this season, like there may be more options? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we really harped on it in the preseason is that how versatile this team is. And um, with him on the court, we can be really spread. And when we you know, run some of our offense, he can, you know, pop and stuff. So that really opens up the offense and honestly gets a lot of other people, including him, uh, open shots.